Well, what do we think, dear? We're here. I think you need to get better at holding the camera up. I'm fired. <laughs> we need a longer pole. <laughs> you I do this are thing. fired. Oh my gosh, these people are going to be seeing. Okay, you have to hold it up. I don't want to be like a weirdo walking down the street. Hey, look at me. Okay, well then you're a weirdo looking, letting people look up your nose. Yeah, you do that. Here we are at the first campground. As newbies, we have no idea where to check in. Pull up to the front gate and you just push a button. Instead, we just walk around the park and just check out all the buildings looking for someone to help us. We're finally in our first campsite. Almost. We're, we're at the, the campground, camp but we're not in the campsite. We still got a park. And there it is in all its glory. All set up for 14 days, 15 days. We made it! Can you quit saying I made it? We made it. <laughs> We're here. We're here. Our first stop, first park, first hookup, and everything went the way it's supposed to. Woo woo! We're off to a good start. Yes. We're walking to go check out the amenities here at the park. We'll check back if anything cool happens. Goodbye. There's this cute little fairy garden area here with these gnomes in here. I don't know if you can see them. That's on that one, Shelby. That's cute. Cool little uh, pirate's treasure hunt in the morning. They're all over the campsite, all over the place. At that barn, they had a nice little, um, what was it this morning? They had a kitchen craft. A kitchen craft. It was jello, Mommy. It was pudding, a um, bunch of sugary snacks first thing in the morning. But the kids loved it. Hey guys, well it's been a little over a week here at a uh, week and a half at Dutch Country, our first stop. We wanted to check in, give you a little update. Um, at the very beginning, the first two or three days, we had a little bit of homesickness going yeah. on. Um, the kids were a little cranky. They were overfilled, overrun with emotions. They had emotions of something new. Uh, they have more freedoms here that they didn't typically have at home. Uh, they also had you know, emotions of not being at home, not being at our sticks and bricks house, not being um, so close to our family. So we had um, some flare ups, we had some temper tantrums, we had... Uh, and they were tired because they're not used to running and being outside as much as they have been here at the campground. So add that to the homesickness and night times for the first couple of nights were a little bit challenging, shall we say. <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, I think uh, so far so good. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do a little intro here without the kids. We'll bring the kids over here in a minute or two. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. For me, it was it was kind of the first few days was kind of felt like vacation. Um, so the first two or three days, I didn't work. I didn't do anything. Um, just because I wanted to enjoy the time with my family. I wanted to enjoy the, enjoy the newness of it. Um, how about you? Yeah, I think it's been great. I've read two and a half books already. So, but that's summer vacation mode for me also is to stop doing and just sit and relax and I do that with reading so but uh, we've all been sleeping great cooking has been going pretty well grocery shopping all of that getting into the rhythm the one rhythm we don't have figured out yet is the whole laundry situation that keeps yes. backing up but you know we'll figure that out we got to get into the routine of one or two loads a day which we're not there yet so it's a big big pile so other than that, everything's been good. Gettysburg was the bloodiest battle fought in the American Civil War. The battle took place over three days, July 1st to July 3rd, 1863. It was fought between the Confederate forces totaling over 75,000 and the Union forces totaling 90,000. 
Over 51,000 soldiers were killed, wounded, captured, or missing during these three days of battle. Gettysburg is a 1,062-acre national park. Within the park, there are 1,328 monuments and memorials that commemorate the men and women who fought and died during the Battle of Gettysburg. There are 400 cannons in the park. Each of them stand as a silent sentinel telling the story of the battle. While we were there, we did about three miles starting from the visitor center heading to the Pennsylvania Memorial where we were able to see a live demonstration firing muskets. After that, we headed out toward the wheat fields. Halfway there, Shelby and Wes got tired and so with Tori, they turned around. Meanwhile, Nick and Lucas continued on foot walking about half the park, totaling about seven miles of hiking. The bonding was fun, especially them talking about this great history. There are many options for visiting this park. You can tour by a private guide, on foot, on a bus, and they also have an auto tour with 16 stops, making visiting the park available for all ages. This was a great experience for us as the kids were able to see the history, touch the ground where the battle took place, and remember the courage and bravery that happened here, forming our country to what it is today. So how's it going, buddy? You having a good day today? We're having a good day at Gettysburg so far. Why are you so quiet? Not much to say? I don't blame you. Well, guys, after a long day at Gettysburg, you guys ready some food? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Let's go to Lancaster Brewing Company. My wife's idea, she's the best. Direct hit. I'm hungry. Fish and chips down there. Cold beer over there. Awesome family. Right over here. Okay, everybody, what was your review? Ten stars! Five stars! Five stars ten ten stars, stars! Twenty stars. stars! It was amazing. If you're ever in Lancaster, stop by Lancaster Brewing Company. So we started our day of history at Valley Forge. We did a quick in the visitor center tour and the kids loved building these log houses. Then we went on the auto tour. And as soon as we finished that up, the kids got sworn in as junior rangers. Then we sped towards Philly, not really speeding, but we headed towards Philly to see the Liberty Bell, Franklin Square, the printing press, the post office, all the fun things. Hey. So here we are at Benjamin Franklin's grave and the kids are going to toss a penny on. Go! Oh, wow. There you go. And we ended the day by visiting Signer Square and going on our tour of Independence Hall. The rain thankfully held off until we were out of Independence Hall and finding the truck. This is the end of it. This is the end of it. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was funny. Um, so we just want to wrap up and closure of our first two weeks at Pennsylvania Dutch Country. We yep. had a lot of history. We were really busy. Uh, we're actually hoping that our next camp round slows, slows down just a little bit because yes. we were really busy, really excited. A lot to uh, fit into a small time span. Yes. And we did do a lot. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and we'll see you next see you guys time. Next time. Bye.